are significant in all forms of Christian worship. And for the Anglicans, it's no different. Right here at Mombasa Memorial Cathedral, a ringing chamber exists. It got eight ropes for eight bells, each rope going up 6.5 meters to the bells. Probably the smallest ringing chamber in the world. It's got eight ropes for eight bells. Each rope goes 6.5 meters up the bells themselves, ringing different times for different Sundays and feast days. Each bell has a name. Andrew, the first disciple, James, brother of Jesus, Paul, who teaches us to understand the Trinity, then the four gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Lastly, Peter, the rock of the church, also known as the preaching bell. Before any church service begins, a bell known as Peter rings six times to mean praise and blessings to God Almighty. And at the end of the church service, it rings three times to honor the Trinity, that is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All this dates back to the year 362 AD. This is because the first service for which church bells were legally allowed to be rung was the consecration of the first St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome Church commissioned by the first Christian Emperor Constantine. yet short history i'd like to welcome you to our church service of today remember to pray and ask god to help you put the word into practice your tithes and any other forms of offering kindly send to our pay bill number 220086 i repeat 220086 thank you and be blessed my name is caroline Tum. Enjoy your service.